Hello, question 14. Apologies if you hear the washing machine going off in the background. It might because it's going to finish soon. But here we go. Question uh, four. Um, this is an activities network question. I like to do a sketch first, but uh, we're going to go straight into this, I think. Um, so the first part is to complete the activity network for this project on the page opposite, uh, which I've snipped into here. Include the earliest start time, latest finish time for each activity. So we need to get this all sorted. And I'm going to do that, shall we? I will do a little sketch here. So we've got A. Um, starts us off and then we've got a going into b b goes into c and then d and e both have to have c behind them f is after e and then this is where we need to be prepared so g is after a h is after g i is after h and then J is after D, F, and I. And then we've got K after J. So that's great. So, right, we figured it out. That's fine. So we start off with going into here. I hate drawing these. But if they gave them to you, that would pretty much defeat the object of the question, uh, being able to work out these. So we've got G in here. Um, after that, we're going to have C in there. G is just going to run along the bottom, so I might just get that done. So H, I, I, uh, C, we need D, E, F. Okay, my top end. What have I got up there? So C. Oh, what a mistake! To make uh, D does not go there, but luckily, right, I can I can fix this. That's fine. That's fine. Good to know that you know the teachers will make mistakes as well. That's fine. Oh god. So C, and then here's going to be D. That's fine. Your examiner will understand, and they will know what you've done. E. F goes in there. J is it's fine to have J there, and we'll connect I up and we'll connect D up to that there. And then we've got K at the end. As long as the numbers are okay, that's fine. Right. Now I have got a sheet in front of me with the uh all the data. So durations we're gonna put in now. So eight. 7 for B, C is 5, D is 18, E is 2, F is 2, G is 2, H is 4, I 23, J is 3, and K is 2. Great. Right, let's do those early times. I'm going to change color pen as well so we can just see that clearly. So I'm going to go to red. Now, the project will start at day zero. Um, it's going to take eight days for A. So that means that the earliest that B and G can start is at eight. Uh, B um, takes seven days. So the earliest that C can start is 15. G takes two days. So the earliest that H can start is 10. And then I'm going to go over to here for 14. So we add that duration in. Um, C into D is going to be 20 so that can only start after 20 F 22 and this is now where we have a conundrum so if we follow the route of D and I've got F and I've got I uh, D 38 days until it can start F 24 and then I is 37 so we have to take the biggest one we can't start J until everything's done and D is the one that finishes last which means that that's the one that we have to, to wait for. So it's 38, and they're moving forward, 41. That means there's going to be a little bit of slack with some of the others. Okay, 41 plus 2 is 43. So this whole project, if it all runs to time and all of those critical routes go well, it's going to take 43 days to do. Okay, let's now work it backwards. So this is going to be the latest sort of finish time. Um, 43, take away 2. So we're working backwards now. Um, that's going to be 41. That's for J. Uh, 41 take 3 is 38, which means all of these 
are going to be 38. And we'll only have a problem when we feed into a different box. 38, take away 2, 36. Uh, 38, take away 23, gives us 15. 15, take away 4 is 11. And then we've got this problem here, so C. Um, 38, take away 18 from the D root is going to be 20. And then for the E root, 36, take away 2 is 34. So the latest time that this one can finish is after 34, because if it finishes after 34 days, E will take two days, uh, two days, which makes 36, and then we're back on track, so we're not going to overrun on this project. Um, 34, take away 5, gives us 29. And then again, 29, take away 7 for B is going to be 22 for G. 11, take away 2 is 9. So 12 is going to be that latest time that we can run on, I think. There we go. Right, I'm just going to pause the video, check how I've done, and come back to you. Okay, so yeah, I went to check it, and I think one of the most uh, desirable parts of my personality is being totally honest, and I messed up just in here. So for this bit here, uh, looking at D and E, it is the 20 that we need, because if we wait to day 34, it's going to push back the entire project. So we need to replace that. When we're doing the late times, I need to write this down. So the late times you've got to take the smallest, take the smallest. And for the earlies, you take the biggest, okay? So you've really got to practice, practice, practice um, these skills. So this one is going to be 15 in there. And then A is going to be 8. And of course, A is going to be 8 because it's the critical path. Okay, so that is now correct. I'm an idiot. But I'm a, you know, I'm a fun idiot that everyone enjoys listening to, surely. Okay, draw a Gantt chart or cascade diagram for the project. Oh, thank you. Thank you for making me have to scroll all over the place. Um, so we've got 43 that I've got to fit in. And my dog's kicking off, apparently. Betty, calm it down, please. Um, I might just go sort her out and come back with the Gantt chart. Bit with. Okay, so the dog half sorted out. She was chasing a ball. Um, unbelievable. Just had to make some notes on the side as well to stop me from having to scroll all the way across on here. So for this one, uh, I'm going to do the Gantt chart. The cascade diagram I've seen is quite easy. You can hear the washing machine is bleeping. So we're going up in fives for this. 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and then 60. The way I like to teach this is to get that critical path all the way along the bottom. So if we go um, across here... You can see the ones that have no float times are going to be the ones that have got um, where their late time take away the early time will equal nothing. So that's A, um, or, or the duration and the early time add to make the late time. So that one there, there, D, and then into J. Now, I have made a spreadsheet that has all of these. Oh, my God, what's going on? My spreadsheet does have all of these, um, like it, it's got four or five different types of questions and you can um, like change all the numbers and then put them in and work out the question and then check your answers. It's really, really useful. Uh, bear with me while I just go and lock the dog outside for five minutes. This is crazy. No, it didn't have the heart to kick her out. I've just stolen the ball off her. Okay, so A, B, C, D, J, and K. So A is going to be at the bottom, and its duration is 8. And that's moved. Oh, this video. So i um, going to come into here. I'm going to change this to an actual pen. So that in there is A. All right, I should know my critical path, actually. So B is next. It's got 7. So 2, 5, that goes to 15. That's for B. Uh, C has got five for the duration, so that takes us to 20. So C's in there. D is 18, so 10, 15, 16, 18. There we go. D. Uh, J is three days, so that goes to 41. That's J. And then K is two more. One and two, so that's K. In there, fantastic. Happy with that. Right, um, the rest of it needs to go on. Um, so E is my next letter. I'm going to hover that above. Um, e, where was it? Has an early time of 20, duration of 2. Early time of 20. 
a duration of two, that's E. And then it has quite a big float time. So the late time for that is at 36. So I'm going to put in here and I'm going to make it a nice oh, dotted line. Sorry about that, Surface Pro. That's my excuse. So that's E. Okay, F, 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 F is 22 to 38. So F, 22, 2, that's F there, and then it goes to 38. So that's got a nice float time as well. No pressure on F, they can complete that when they want. Right, next one is G. G is 8, 2, and then 11. 8, Two and then eleven for the float time. There we go. Put that in. I'm starting to get a bit messy now. Nightmare. H ten four and fifteen. H ten. One two three four. And then fifteen. So it's got a nice small float time as well of one. I fourteen twenty three. I fourteen twenty three. 14 plus 23, 27, so that's quite a big job. It goes to there. Just check I've done that right. I, 14, 23, 37. Yeah, I thought so. That's 27. 37 is here. Lovely, that's I. Need to check the float time. So I has got a float time of 1. Put that on the end. And the no, that's it. That's done. Lovely. Happy. Uh, so that's all those activities. You can see the small float times. All right, I'm really happy with that. Let me check how long I've got on here. Uh, three minutes. So I'm going to end this video. I'm going to complete the video um, with another bit because we've got a few bits to work out there. And I'm going to just upload it as part C and is there a D? No, we'll do part C and I'll upload that shortly. Sorry, bear with me on this one. I'm not really recording it, I don't have time. I'm sneaking these in because my wife and the daughters are out um, on a little family trip. So trying to get all this in for you guys before your exam. Um, I will finish this off and I'm not really recording it because I'm pushed for time. Right, I'll see you for part C. Good luck, like, subscribe, laugh at me. I'm okay with that. See you soon.